Indonesia has been on a serious winning streak when it comes to their economy. Victory! It's like they've hit the jackpot. Their market is massive and things are just clicking for them. Businesses are looking at Indonesia like it's the golden ticket. Now, why does this matter for Malaysia? Well, imagine you're playing a game and suddenly everyone starts noticing a new player who's scoring big. That's Indonesia right now and Malaysia might be feeling the pressure to level up. And you have to say that with no away goal, America Samoa were going to find the second leg very difficult. Indonesia's rising economic star is shining bright and Malaysia has to figure out how to keep its own glow. Here, we will explore the nuances of how economic shifts between these two nations might bring about challenges and, of course, opportunities. So, buckle up as we navigate through the intricacies of Indonesia's economic ascent and what it could mean for the neighbors across the Strait of Malacca. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more insightful discussions. Let's get started. <laughs> the race for foreign investments between Indonesia and Malaysia is heating up, and it's raising some concerns about Malaysia's economic future. Indonesia's economy is on the upswing, and a lot of foreign investors are turning their eyes toward it. This shift in attention could spell trouble for Malaysia, as these investors are opting for Indonesia over Malaysia. Indonesia is catching the eyes of global investors because of its booming economy and business-friendly environment. It's like a hotspot right now. Investors see potential there because Indonesia is making some big economic moves and handling global challenges well. Malaysia, in comparison, might be losing out because it's finding it hard to compete with Indonesia's economic growth and the perks it offers to businesses. There are a lot of investors that decided to invest in Indonesia, such as Hyundai, Toyota, LG, Panasonic, BYD Automotive, etc. Maybe Malaysia wins the Tesla's investment, but in reality, Indonesia is the real winner. Why? Because more investment already come to Indonesia, more factories are being built, more workers are absorbed, more technological knowledges are shared to locals as the term of investment for foreign investors. And for electric automotive alone, Indonesia already have agreement with Honda, Ford, Toyota, Wuling, Suzuki, Mitsubishi, Hyundai, Vinfast, and many more to build new factories and develop EV batteries. That is why Indonesia will become one of the biggest automotive exporter in the coming years. The influx of foreign money into Indonesia is a problem for Malaysia. As investors choose Indonesia, Malaysia might face a slowdown in its own economic activities. This could mean fewer job opportunities and a tougher time for businesses to stay competitive globally. Companies might even decide to set up shop in Indonesia instead of Malaysia, given the growing market and attractive business conditions there. Malaysia could be in for a rough ride if it doesn't step up its game. The government needs to make things easier or sacrifice something in return for foreign investment, like they did with Tesla. If not, Malaysia's economy might take a hit, affecting people's jobs and the country's overall prosperity. Indonesia's infrastructure boom poses a potential threat to Malaysia's economy due to its ripple effects across various sectors. The surge in Indonesian infrastructure projects may attract foreign investors who would otherwise consider Malaysia. This could lead to a shift in investment flows, affecting Malaysia's economic growth and job creation. The increased connectivity and upgraded transportation networks in Indonesia could divert international trade routes away from Malaysia. 
Improved logistics and more efficient supply chains in Indonesia may make it a more attractive hub for businesses. Based on data from the Indonesia's National Statistics Agency, BPS, infrastructure such as toll roads in the Jokowi era has been built along 1,762 kilometers, and of this total, the target of 750 kilometers of toll roads is completed in 2024. Then the construction of national roads that have been carried out along 47,024 kilometers. In addition to road infrastructure development, there are also other infrastructure developments, such as the construction of dams, airports, harbors, train stations, and many others. Based on data, as many as 30 dams spread across several regions have been built, and 29 airports have been built. Furthermore, the expansion of Indonesia's energy infrastructure, including power plants and renewable energy projects, could alter the energy dynamics in the region. If Indonesia becomes a more dominant player in the energy sector, Malaysia may face challenges in securing reliable and affordable energy sources, potentially affecting its industries and overall economic stability. In summary, while Indonesia's infrastructure boom brings benefits to the region, it also presents potential challenges for Malaysia's economy. The shifting dynamics in investment, trade, energy, real estate, technology, tourism, and the regional economic landscape highlight the need for Malaysia to adapt and strategize to maintain its competitiveness in the face of Indonesia's rapid development. The boom in Indonesia's economy has a profound effect on the dynamics of resource utilization and market competition in the region, particularly in comparison to neighboring Malaysia. As Indonesia experiences economic growth, its demand for resources, such as palm oil, rubber, and minerals, skyrockets. This heightened demand creates a competitive environment, with both nations vying for a share of the global market. The increased economic activity in Indonesia amplifies the competition for these valuable resources, putting pressure on Malaysia to adapt to the evolving market dynamics. The economic rise of Indonesia has a ripple effect on the global stage, influencing the prices and availability of key commodities. This, in turn, impacts the competitiveness of both nations in the international market. As Indonesia's economy flourishes, it becomes a formidable player, challenging Malaysia's traditional standing in certain sectors. PT Pertamina berencana untuk membangun fasilitas kilang minyak baru dengan investasi mencapai 43 miliar dolar. The resource-driven economic boom in Indonesia intensifies the race for market dominance, forcing Malaysia to reassess its strategies and enhance its own economic competitiveness. Market competition between Indonesia and Malaysia extends beyond their borders and spills into regional arenas like ASEAN. Indonesia's economic ascendancy amplifies its influence within this regional bloc, creating a dynamic where both countries jockey for favorable positions. The economic prowess of Indonesia not only shapes its own destiny, but also influences the competitive landscape in which Malaysia operates. This regional interplay adds an extra layer of complexity to their economic relationship, with each nation striving to secure advantageous trade positions and foster regional stability. Collaboration and competition become intertwined as Indonesia's economic growth unfolds. Both countries recognize the importance of balancing their competitive pursuits with cooperative efforts to ensure regional prosperity. Shared goals within ASEAN and other international platforms underscore the interconnected nature of their economic destinies. The evolving economic landscape prompts both Indonesia and Malaysia to navigate a delicate equilibrium adapting their policies and trade strategies to thrive amidst the shifting tides of global and regional market dynamics. I think it should be quite spectacular. I have never been to East Nusa Tenggara. This is the first time. I saw the photographs, but being here is better. The surge in Indonesia's economy is not only reshaping the competitive landscape in terms of resources, but also fueling a vibrant human skill competition between Indonesia and Malaysia. One noticeable aspect is the burgeoning quality of Indonesian movies. As the economy flourishes, 
the film industry witnesses a renaissance, producing high-quality movies that captivate audiences not only domestically, but also on the international stage, such as The Raid 1, The Raid 2, The Night Comes for Us, and many more. This rise in cinematic excellence intensifies the competition for viewership, posing a creative challenge for Malaysia's film industry to keep pace and maintain its own distinctive presence. In tandem with the economic upswing, Indonesia experiences a surge in startup businesses such as Gojek, Traveloka, Tokopedia, etc. Entrepreneurs, inspired by the conducive economic climate, are launching innovative ventures across various sectors. This entrepreneurial boom fosters a dynamic business competition, pushing both countries to nurture and showcase their unique business ecosystems. The rise of startups in Indonesia presents Malaysia with a competitive benchmark, encouraging them to innovate and create an environment conducive to fostering entrepreneurship. The competitive edge in human skills extends beyond traditional industries, permeating the technological sphere. The rise of Indonesia's economy has given birth to a generation of tech-savvy individuals, fostering innovation in areas such as software development, artificial intelligence, and digital marketing. This technology-driven human skill competition propels both countries to invest in education and training, ensuring their workforce remains adaptive and competitive in the ever-evolving global market. Jadi, uh, acara Presiden Jokowi hari ini itu enggak luar biasa. Santai terus. Jadi kita mau ke mana? Mau ke coket, mau baru. Kok saya kira ini presiden. Kita, jadi kita persulitkan juga kita ini soal. Indonesia's economic growth poses potential challenges for Malaysia. The evolving economic landscape in Indonesia has the power to impact its neighboring countries, including Malaysia. As Indonesia continues to strengthen its economic foundations, it may inadvertently create competition for Malaysia in various sectors. This dynamic shift requires both nations to adapt and collaborate to ensure regional stability. It is crucial for Malaysia to view Indonesia's economic rise not only as a threat, but also as an opportunity for collaboration and mutual growth. As neighboring nations, they can explore avenues for economic cooperation, trade partnerships, and shared development goals. By fostering a positive relationship, both Indonesia and Malaysia can navigate the challenges and uncertainties that may arise, turning them into opportunities for a more robust and interconnected regional economy. The future of Malaysia and Indonesia's economic relationship would depend on their ability to embrace change, find common ground, and work together for the collective prosperity of the region. The potential dangers can be mitigated through open communication diplomatic efforts, and a shared commitment to fostering economic stability. It's a journey that requires adaptability, collaboration, and a forward-looking approach from both nations. To sum up, Indonesia's economic ascent need not be a threat to Malaysia. Rather, it can serve as a catalyst for a new era of cooperation and shared success. By recognizing the interconnectedness of their economies, both nations can navigate the challenges ahead and build a foundation for sustained regional development. The future holds the promise of a stronger Southeast Asia, where Indonesia and Malaysia play pivotal roles in shaping a prosperous and harmonious economic landscape. <laughs>